Mario podcast. That was so I will cool pay you five dollars to try that again. <laughs> <laughs> okay, ready? I'll do it again. No, we're keeping that. Just go. Welcome to our welcome to our podcast. Angie's here. Yeah. Yes, my yeah, favorite, finally. My favorite Mark Zuckerberg fan, Angie Lettuce, returns hey. to the podcast. Hey, everyone. Yay. Returns. This is the first podcast episode where everybody is here. It is also the oh. second podcast episode. No, I don't. I don't. So, know. guys, let's talk about my favorite show, Young Sheldon. Connor, I've never watched you... it. What's special about it? It's so funny. Connor, did you want to bring up the allegations this podcast? or No, next one. We'll, we'll talk okay. about it next time. What allegations? The young Sheldon allegations? Don't worry about it. Next time. Um. So, so Angie, you watched every episode of Young Sheldon ever aired? No, I'm on season three. How, How many, seasons many seasons are, are there? there? I think there's six. Holy shit! You're halfway yeah. through. There's three. There's six seasons of Young Sheldon going. Um, actually, every time anyone like says anything, Who wants to aren't they watch ending this it? Me. Child. I want to. I want to watch him. He's What's my idol. Feel? So you I, know Sheldon so... from Big Bang Theory. Him. Yeah. But young. Yeah. He's socially yeah. inept, and it's it makes it funny. You You're know. Funny. And he comes from a Christian household where they do not he... understand him. Yeah. And that's where the comedy comes. They in. should have Young Sheldon and Ben Shapiro should collab. Um, just like a battle of um actually. Yeah. Um actually. That 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 actor who that that young little actor who plays Young Sheldon uh, is also a voice actor for Paw Patrol. Really? Uh, for oh. which one? For which Paw? I don't remember. What I do you mean? Saw you him on Ellen. Like I, I saw him on Ellen. Kirsten or something. loves Paw Patrol. You saw him he on was... Ellen, Kirsten. You like Ellen? My grandma watches Ellen, and I happened to be in the room. I thought Ellen got canceled. Started. Yeah, it was. It was. Isn't she a lesbian? Maybe it wasn't Ellen. Maybe it was like the. <laughs> it I was think, some yeah, man. girly talk show, and he was promoting the new Paw Patrol movie, and I'm like, oh Ellen. my god, that's Young Sheldon. Maybe he just likes wow. Paw Patrol. No, he was Maybe in it. He loves Paw Patrol. He's, he's in the show. I hate Paw How Patrol. How do you know? Because he said he. I was think it's too he... violent. It's too graphic. Mm -hmm. I don't, yeah. I really don't know how Big Bang Theory got so big. It shows like a a realistic. It's the Big Bang. Realistic interpretation of a panic attack. And what? Everybody no in the way. What? Collapsed. Big Bang Theory does. I have not watched a single episode of Big Bang Theory. No, I'm talking about Paw Don't. Patrol the movie. Oh. <laughs> oh, that makes a little bit more sense. <laughs> they're basically, they're pretty similar if you think about it. Yeah, they are. Who, Paw Patrol and Young Big Sheldon? Big Bang Theory. Yeah. Wait, is that one of the, the like, character. 471 movies you watched last year? No, Paw I didn't. Patrol watch, movie? I did not watch Paw Patrol. Oh. Fake fan. It came out, mm -hmm. this, I'd, I'm not a fan of Paw Patrol, but it yeah, came out the same time as Saw X, so I watched that instead of Paw Patrol. Just watch them at the same time. Yeah. yeah. Thought X was very good. I enjoyed it. I actually heard it was good. ADHD kids on on Tic Tac. Yeah. Speaking of um, actually, let's talk about um. <laughs> well, speaking of autistic children, which Young Sheldon <laughs> clearly is, let's talk about what every autistic child has been talking about for the past two weeks. Matt, Matt, Pat Matt retiring. retiring. Well, it's only been like a few days. Since, he, Since like, Matt said he Pat would. said that he would do that, it'll be a yeah. week by the time this is up. Yeah. Oh yeah, stupid Connor. Stupid flipping. Stupid uh, upload why are you so schedule. Fat and lazy. Yeah, it's all my fault. That's why we only upload once a week. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Yep. Mm -hmm. I've been saying that yep. since like. Blame it started. on me. I've been saying this for years. Well, it hasn't been a year yet, so I can't have <laughs> yeah. been saying that for years. Um, actually, it hasn't been a year yet, so, um, actually... Um, when are you talking Well, about it has her? been a year. Actually... It, hey, hey, it has been a year. We recorded the first podcast on... That was so young, Sheldon. 2023. So. Right, and I was blaming you for everything since the start, because I'm such a cool guy and nice person to everybody. Yeah, man. And then good like friend. Sheldon. You're like young Sheldon. I used yep. to be young Sheldon. You Matt Pat yeah. leaving YouTube was my 9/11. Matt Pat is Matt Pat is retiring, oh. and I actually cried watching the video of him leaving YouTube because I 
Um, I don't know. <laughs> There's something wrong with me, I think. Why? It's Wait, Matt Pat. What do you mean, mean why? It's what do you mean why? It's Matthew Patrick. Him leaving YouTube is is awful. I know, but I feel like crying isn't like normal. It's not a woman thing. <laughs> no, it's not that. Okay, first of all. Um, I feel like it's not normal to cry at a YouTube video of a YouTuber leaving. I mean, he has been not on bad. the platform for 15 years, so. Why do you feel bad for for having emotions? Yeah, you're a woman. Yeah, a woman. I guess I'm just, <laughs> I, I guess I'm just taught to hold, hold my emotions down inside. And then they just come yeah. out when I get angry. They come? I would well, wow. I... I, I probably watched, like, the whole first year of Game Theory, like, when it was first coming out when I was in high school. and But I stopped watching around the time that he started talking about Five Nights at Freddy's because I don't really care about that Eesh. game at all. Oop. Oh, I was wow. into the Nintendo stuff. Ironic for the bear. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Well, I don't like the, how um, Five Nights at Freddy's portrays bears in a negative light. Why? Okay, Lipard. Because usually we don't... <laughs> Usually we don't eat people unless we're like, sure about up. that. Yeah. Um actually know? Freddy Brown Bears. doesn't eat children. So, um they actually he actually has a child, dead child inside him, so We actually yeah. don't know who did the actually, bite of eighty seven. It could have been anybody. Um, actually it was actually yeah. Mango, actually, so Oh, uh, you don't know that for sure. It could have been anybody. You guys are um. all fucking obnoxious. I think I think guys I think phone guy is purple guy. No. Whoa. No. Um, actually, if you look at his sprite, he's holding a phone. I keep grabbing my phone from my mouth with a kernel. <laughs> Shut the f <laughs> what? <laughs> I'm still stabbing my gum with a with a kernel. You have a gun? No, my gum. Yeah. I'm stabbing with a kernel, not on purpose. Like your gums or like a stick of gum? No, like the my gums? gum, like my in my mouth. Like the like a food or what? Does anyone else eat the kernels? Yeah, I do that, but only the ones that are like half popped. No, I just eat the kernels straight up. I, just I mean, heard I do that sometimes. Crunch. That was so. We heard that crunch. Yeah, that came up on the. Is your tooth okay? What was this one? No, it was like louder <laughs> and worse. My gum are okay. Angie has very powerful teeth, like teeth of a horse. She's very powerful, like Freddy Fazbear. Oh, speaking of Freddy Fazbear, did you guys watch the Five Nights at Freddy's movie? There were yeah, so probably. many other transitions you could have done to that. Speaking, speaking of biting things, did you guys watch? We don't know he did the bite of 87. We don't know that. The the bite. He's innocent. The bite. He's innocent. But I yeah, I watched the movie. He what did. Did you, yeah. you think of it? Minor think spoiler, he thumbs. did bite someone in half in the movie, so. No way, really? Yeah. Speaking about gums, did you watch Five Nights at Freddy's in the, the movie theater? Because I didn't. I watched it on my couch. I watched it what in the movie loser. theater. I, I got, I got the big. I watched it with big, my dad. I, wa I got the big thing? screen experience. The big screen. I watched it with my dad because he was probably more excited for it than I was. <laughs> Why? <laughs> really? Because what? you know the as like a little kid, as a little nina, you know, I was like obsessed with Five Nights at Freddy's. Like it was bad, bad obsession. You wanted to had, know like, the appeal. I had like the poster and the plushies and all. I have the I have all the books. It's really, really bad. Anyways. Do you even read? Yeah, I, I do read actually. So. Fake. But anyways. Oh, sorry. Anyways. Um, <laughs> sorry. Um. My dad, like, I would, I would literally go to my parents and I would rant to them about Five Nights at Freddy's and about, like, the lore. And my parents were like, what the hell are you even talking about? Like, what, who are you? And my dad, after hearing about me saying, oh, my God, the movie's coming out back in, like, 2016, when he actually, you know, eight years later found out it was actually coming out. He was like, oh, shit, I got to watch that. You're gotta coming see that out? Little mean yeah. <clears throat> With the Five Nights at Freddy's movie. She's coming oh out God. as a Five Nights at Freddy's fan. It's been years. We've been oh speculating. God. Yeah, the rumors Can't are wait. true. I knew it. Do. I know every Five Nights at Freddy's song. Do you? <laughs> yeah. I Can't thought... wait to meet you. I thought the movie was okay. Me it too. It was okay. 
Full I think it was okay. I, ha I haven't seen it. It Does was it like a six. In 1987. I don't know. No. no. It's present day time. No, it's like 1990s. I think. I don't remember. What? No, yeah, it's in the long. 90s. I don't okay. remember. Can't wait to meet you. So what you're saying is it was not a very memorable movie. No. no, I think it was pretty. I think uh, to me it was memorable, but that's because I've been waiting for this movie for eight years. It was yeah. like, Kirsten. It so, what did you think of the? the let's put let's put some perspective. What did you think of the Mario movie? I thought it was cool. Yeah. So imagine that, but for Na for FNAF fans, and that's basically what it was. Yep. Exactly. Yeah. I, but like I a fraction of the time you it. were waiting. Yeah. Exactly. exactly. It's like that's the exact same thing that happened here. I definitely was expecting yeah. a lot more, and I was a little disappointed, but I still really enjoyed it because, you know, what Connor said. Yeah, they already, they already green at the sequel. Yep. There yeah. are supposed to be two other movies. Yeah. Maybe Markiplier will be in this one. Probably not. Yeah. Wow. Well, the only reason he wasn't in this one was because he was filming his own movie then. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> and the worst part is, like, even after the the movie came out, like, Help Wanted 2 was also, like, being teased. So, when that I came didn't... out, it was very hyped. I watched it. I just, there's too many mini games. I don't, I don't know. I, don't I didn't know. see a single piece of advertisement for that game. I didn't know it came out until I saw fucking Markiplier play it. No, I saw, because yeah. I watched the trailer, and I'm, like, a loser who looks at those things. I saw, I, I saw the teaser. I saw, I saw the initial trailer, forgot about it completely, and then I was like, oh shit, that came out. I remember because, um, AJ the human monster kept bringing it up. Um, yeah. and then I saw like a Matt Patch stream, the GT mm -hmm. live stream on it, and he was like analyzing it. I was like, oh yeah, that's coming out. And then it came out. I was like, oh, wow, that's awesome. I, like... I watched it, and I just like, it's just like hard because. They're focusing so much on, like, the lore to the the point where it's just, like, not really scary. Yeah, I like the I first mind. one. I like the first Help Wanted because it was like, oh, you're playing the actual games in VR. Where this exactly. one, it's, this one's just, like, fucking shitty carnival Game. games. It's just carnival yeah. games, half of them. They're and like, the other half yeah, is just... They're catering more to, like, the book lore when really... The main fans came from the games. Well, no one's reading the fucking book except Mark Blyer. <laughs> wrong what? wrong guy. And, and me, and and young me, you know. I think that's a good uh, point that you made about, like, the, the more that they, you know, tell you about the lore, the less scary it is. Because that's usually yeah. how it is. Like, it's scary because you don't know what it is. But if the, if the intent is to be horror you know if you over explain things it's, it's not even like, trying to be horror anymore it's it's just a sci-fi at this point it's yep. a sci-fi of horror elements and then they also completely toned it down to make it like oh it's gonna let's put the next game in a giant mall oh let's let's have them play carnival games instead of the fucking be a security guard yeah i just i don't know i just don't i don't care i was i was never a giant fnaf fan for the games anyways i liked watching the videos uh but do you feel that they've lost the soul of the original? Yeah. Scott Cawthon uh, really yeah, shouldn't have donated to Mitch McConnell. What? <laughs> That's why he got canceled. Yeah. He donated to Mitch McConnell? I didn't know that. Yeah. Yeah. Um, why is that a big deal? Great question. Exactly. Welcome to Twitter. How dare he be a Republican? Most rich well, people are Republicans. Yeah. Well, he started out as a Christian 3D animator. As a Christian he rock a band. He started as a Christian rock band? Mm -hmm. Yeah. I don't know anything about Scott Cotton. Hey, speaking of Christian rock bands, did you see the Iron Lung trailer? <laughs> 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 wow, that was such a seamless transition. Yeah, what do you mean? This, what do you mean? It's... There's a Christian rock band in the trailer. You didn't, you didn't, there... you didn't analyze it like me. You didn't look at all the Markiplier hid really one in there. I watching the trailer, but I never like paid attention to it. Yeah, I that's why you missed the Christian this. rock band. Where's the Christian rock band? What's the name of the Christian rock band? I'm not telling you. Find it yourself. It's it's lore. I don't want I don't want to spoil the lore for you, Carson. I wouldn't never do that to you. I would never do that. What are you talking about? The Iron Woman movie. What? Pull it up right now. 
Yeah, it's who a theatrical. Well, who is Iron Lung? Oh, Iron Lung is a game about like a submarine. The yeah, Iron Lung is the submarine. It's a treatment that happened after World War One because of the fucking gases. That's where the name comes from. Speaking of gases, let's go back to Young Sheldon. <laughs> <Okay>. <laughs> How many fart jokes are in the first three seasons of Young Sheldon? <laughs> yeah, you would know this. I actually don't. Guess. What's your favorite season? Loser. Um, um I don't know. I haven't watched all of them yet. Uh, uh, of the ones you've seen. Okay, you have to specify. I really like there. season two, episode seventeen, where Young Sheldon goes to college and makes fun of college kids for being dumber than him, and then goes home and makes fun of his family for being dumber than him, and then goes back to college and makes fun of the people for being dumber than him. It, it's really different yeah. than season one, episode eight, where he does the exact same thing. Is there a character development? He, he has to be a static character pretty much because he acts the same way that he does in the Bang Bang Theory. Yeah, he is. Right? Yeah, he's just a. Shitty little spoiled brat his whole it life. It sucks that much. How did they get six seasons worth of it? They're making because a like, seventh. Because the other uh, characters are more like... The other characters are actually not bad. I'd hope okay. so. They're not. They're not. Who's your favorite character? Um, Probably Meemaw. <laughs> Mine's Matt Pat. <laughs> Why? <laughs> because she's funny. She's an old lady and funny. And she's reckless. You're describing it like, like you're you. from a foreign country. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> she is so funny and reckless. You have like a basic understanding of what it is to be an American. I do. <laughs> She's funny and reckless woman. Um, that's about it. What's her real what how does she treat young Sheldon? She like coddles him, but she also doesn't. I don't know how to explain it. Like she's like Sheldon and then she's like Ah, Sheldon, you know? <laughs> yeah. Uh-huh. That's so descriptive. Hey, what... Na t can you name one instance where somebody farts in young Sheldon? <laughs> I don't know, probably George the dad. Season 3, episode 2. <laughs> <laughs> Do you plan on watching the whole show? Yeah. I, I hope it goes well for you. I honestly wa I watch it when like I'm doing stuff. I kind of use it more as background noise rather than like uh, watching it. <laughs> hmm. Well, You'll at least like, there's no, there's no like, name. there's no sitcom laughter. At least no, there's like, not, there's not, which makes it even more better. grounded in reality. Yeah. Thank God. Yeah, it's not that bad. Jonah and I watch in the background. And I have nothing else. What? The Oscars. I also just lied there. Who's Oscar? Oscar the Grouch. Oscar the Grouch. Hey. <laughs> oh, did you guys want to talk about the Oscars? I did want to talk about the Oscars. Oh, I get it. I've yeah, never you get really excited watch them. for that. I, I, I watch them every year. Do you? Yeah. What makes you go back every time? I, you know, I, I, I try to watch as many new movies as I can that look interesting to me. And I like keeping up with the filmmakers that I like. So it's cool to see them get some recognition from the industry. I know LA is like full of a bunch of hacks and frauds and, you know, but, you know, sometimes they make pretty good decisions that i agree with and other times it's like oh what the hell it's like the worst choice they could have picked there yeah so, so like, like every last year show? the last year the i guess so but i i love movies like movies are my life so last year i i watched he's every asking how much movies he's watched how many movies did i watch you may ask uh i think it's like 432 something he says as if he doesn't know the exact number by heart. Loser. Well, me, loser? No. <laughs> Damn right. Last last year at the Oscars, um, I, I watched every single animated short that got nominated, and they picked the worst one out of all of them. Really? Which was? Like, I would have been happy with any of them, but they picked uh, the... The boy, the fox, and the uh, mole, or whatever it's called. There's Never heard of it. Galactica. It's Me like neither. it's some oh. basic ass like children's story about like how you should be nice to people and you should buy your things. It's like this is so like. Person's like, wondering where's the realism? Why aren't they tearing each other apart? 
Well, like, he rescues, like, the okay, the fox attacks them because he wants to eat the mole. And then, I, okay, oh, I get no. that everything's like a metaphor. But then, like, they escape the fox and then they later come across the fox and he's, like, like he caught in fox. a trap or something. And then they help him and then he decides that he's not going to attack them anymore because they were nice to him. Well, it's like, <laughs> well, he still has to eat. He wasn't attacking them just because he's mean. He's attacking yeah. them because he's a predator. What? It's like they a don't child know. predator. As in, they he eats meat. No oh. hunter. He could have said carnivore. He wanted to eat them all, but now they're friends because they helped him. I was like, okay, that's Friendship. fine. Friendship. A child to understand, but your metaphor falls flat when you use animals. I don't know, man. It's, it wasn't a bad, like, it wasn't terrible, but I'm just like, literally every other animated shirt that was nominated. Or even if you just used animals, animals of the same about? species, what would be way better. Guys, this is a completely off topic, but. So I was playing Clash of Clans right now, completely yeah. zoned out, not listening to the um, conversation at all. And they added a third base. Oh, I, th I personally, I think my year of dicks should have won last year. That was a way better <laughs> show. What? Your year of dicks? My year of dicks. Your dick? It's, a, it's an animated short about this, um, this teenage girl. Uh, she's on a quest to lose her Does virginity. she have a dick? No, she's on a quest to lose her virginity yeah. in like Texas in the 90s. But at literally every guy that she meets is like not, you know, not the right guy to lose your virginity to. And she gets really close to like having sex with all these guys, but she, you know, she she doesn't realize that the the right guy for her was was you know right there for her the whole time. It's really sweet. That sounds yeah. like a Disney Pixar short, but with sex. It does. Yeah, it does. It's yeah. the the way that it's animated and like the style is like everything's really gross and dirty and like it does it. It's like I like the the contrast because like it shows her perspective is how like she wants everything to be perfect and pretty and nice for you know for her first time, but the world around her it it does not treat her the way that. You know, she wants to be treated. It's it's grim and dark and ugly. I hate ugly people. I would I would Murder. recommend that short to anybody. Angie hates uglies. I do. Fuck all of you. Don't watch my videos anymore. You guys. I'm gonna cut to right when you said that. <laughs> <laughs> you think I'm joking? No, I know you're not. That's yeah. what's funny about it. Yeah, that's the big goof. Yeah. Big goof and gag. I hope you guys yeah, like my. Goof and gay. I hope you guys like all the let's play videos that I made when I was a teenager. Cause they're never coming you... back. Your childhood's dead. Yeah. Yeah. All the Nintendo Coke Bear fans, it's over. Life is meaningless. I'm not. I'm. I've grown up. I'm not playing video games ever again. He hates video games. <laughs> That's why he joined a video game podcast. Yeah. yeah. Quote his words. Is that all we are to you, Carson? A video game podcast? Well, yeah. you you put, like, it is a gaming channel. We do play video games on it. Our so. podcast is strictly unrelated to the gaming videos. Okay. I mean, we can talk about whatever. That's Carson, talk about ourselves. Carson, if we can talk about whatever, how do you feel about Skibbity Toilet? Do you know I, what that is? I'm uneducated when it comes to that. <gasps> that's, that's a new oh, you need to tell him what it is. Carson, we'll 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 get you we'll get you up to speed. I know it's a I know it's a series created using Gary's mod, using uh, Valve characters, and they have a guy whose head is in the toilet. Yeah, you got no it. Way. That's yeah, that's the series. That's it. Carson, lay a beat oh. for Angie. Yeah, but bop, boop, bop. It doesn't even look good. Go, Angie. Yeah. Five Nights at Freddy's. I'm so ready to play Five Nights at Freddy's. Hey! Because I'm ready. Get him! To, to get steady. So your boy! For Five Nights at Freddy's. Point one. Gettysburg. <laughs> <laughs> 
was a tragedy. <laughs> yeah. Wait, no. What? what? Gettysburg? No, it wasn't. The Gettysburg like, address? Uh, the battle itself. The battle was a tragedy. Was a tragedy. But, but That's what I was talking about. Wasn't. The, the speech address. was great. I said address. Oh, I thought you just yeah. said Gettysburg. The address is the speech, motherfucker. What are you? Hey. You... What are you, a cocksucker? Oh, what are you, oh a man. Yeah. Oh what man. Oh man. Mother. Your mother. I'm gonna mother. Your. Your brother. Your. Your brother your, with peanut butter. What? <laughs> oh. Twenty one. Peace. Well, I was I was thinking that, but I didn't want to say it. But Angie just kind of pulled it out of my mouth, like. Like toothpaste. Like your tongue. Like toothpaste. <laughs> like toothpaste. <laughs> <laughs> you know how you like pull shit out of a tube? Yeah. Smother your brother with peanut butter. Yeah. Reese is gonna be filled with peanut butter. <laughs> it is a bar. Pieces. Reese's pieces. That's Reese's what I'm saying. Pup. Eat them up, eat them up. Connor, Reese's have you, yeah, have you ever eaten Did Reese's you see? Puffs? I have eaten Reese's Puffs. Did you see they added fucking, like, they made Reese's yeah, where there's, no. where there's yeah, chips in them? They added that. No they added way. ones with like fucking potato chips in what? them. It's... And they, they have one that's like pretzels. Yeah, they added yeah. fucking everything to Reese's. Why did they do that? Gross. It's cool. I don't know. I don't even peanut like peanut butter Reese's. chips. That's probably one of my least favorite. No, not peanut butter. Potato. They put potato chips in the Reese's cup. I'm sorry to all yeah. you Reese's fans, but peanut I'm Peanut butter not chips. Bad. I don't. Why do people call it Reese's? Because the know. guy who made it was named Reese. No, but like people, people Why pronounce it Reese? Reese's oh. instead of Reese's. I, I don't Reese's. It like that. Well, you can't, you can't fix dialect, man. You True. Just have to live with it. Well, fuck you. What? <laughs> <laughs> of course, the Canadians getting offended. Reese's puffs. Reese's puffs. Eat them up. Eat them up. Eat them up. Eat them up. Reese's puffs, Reese's puffs. Eat them up, eat them up, eat them up, eat them up. You guys are saying that I can't say nothing, but I've been saying nothing and nobody's been, you know, nothing. mad at me or no, I'm, no, I'm saying. Oh, I love it's Tuesday. English dialect. What? No, I, I don't think so. I don't think you know people don't seem to care about the Dakota dialect. They think it's charming. Mm -hmm. you know? Your your accent is very charming. Thank you. <laughs> I'm glad somebody thinks so. I love when you say no thing in tomorrow. Tomorrow. And I like and I like when Connor says big. Yeah. Big. I'm I have not saying it. Comments on tomorrow. <laughs> What's tomorrow? tomorrow? The Gettysburg Address. Oh man. No, tomorrow's for Nafos. Wait, what's tomorrow? Am I missing something? No, yeah. though he says the way I say tomorrow. Funny. Guys, I hate I hate to spoil it, but Lincoln gets shot. <gasps> oh, Abraham! That. Abraham! I <laughs> what did you think I was talking about? I don't know. Okay. Some one of your friends, Lincoln. I yeah. don't know. Yeah. I, I have a like, premonition guys. that my friend Lincoln will get shot tomorrow. I yeah. thought he was being cynical. All right, guys. Like show. I'll be right mm. back. Guys, let's talk about Apple Teleport. Well, can we do that after I pee? No. We're mid podcast here. We're mid pee cast. Get it? Because he's going to pee. Well, Connor pee left. Cast. I thought I could leave. Isn't, isn't that fair? Um, Can't I leave? He shouldn't be left. He shouldn't be left. Okay, you guys can talk about whatever, but I will be right back. Uh, uh, somebody edit this part out. Did you know he these shits. bitches? Do you know these bitches love Sosa? Who? Do you know there's bitches to Carson's These left? These bitches love Sosa. Right? <laughs> I didn't say that. Wait, maybe I did. I said it. Oh, you said that. I think I you remember. said that once a long time ago, and then I drew that, and then it I, it comes up again every now and again in my memory. Well, that wasn't I. That wasn't an original thought. I stole that from a song or something. Yeah, but you're still cool, so. Well, thanks. I, I, I feel pretty cultured. You're a culture. I try to be as um, knowledgeable about everything that matters to me as possible. You're woke. Yeah. What are some things that matter to you? Um, philosophy. Art, philosophy, science. Um, I remember you did some philosophy homework stuff on call. 
Yeah, I did. What are your main philosophies? Oh, man. I should probably know this, but I, uh, <laughs> I couldn't say off the top of my head. Why not? Because I'm a, a hack fraud. And what do you mean by that? Uh, I try to be very knowledgeable, but that doesn't mean I retain information. You're like Socrates. You're like wise, but you know you're not wise. Right. Which makes well, you the wisest person of all. Like you I agree. need to shit, but you don't want to shit. I agree with Socrates in saying that all I know is I know nothing. Ultimately, you know, there's no way to really know anything. Um, what do you mean? There's a way to know the FNAF lore. Well, how do you know that there's any truth to any of that? Yeah, how do you know there's any truth to the FNAF? Um, because it's in the facts. It's it's written in the book, and yeah. In the book I won't read. Yeah. That Auntie has yeah. already read. I leave yeah. for two minutes, we're in a super deep conversation. Well, we had to push the podcast, and you went to go poopy. Yeah, you were too busy pu- pushing your poop that so you missed true. us pushing this podcast. So true. We were, so pushing, true. we were pushing pee, and you were pushing poop. Basically. Yeah. You were Basically. pushing positivity? Yeah. No. I mean, yeah. Young, truly humble under God. I'm Back. a humble, humble man. And you're just a humble, not man. Just a humble you're just lad. a villager. I think you got that backwards, buddy. Aha, uh-huh, aha. Uh-huh. Can you not? Aha, uh-huh, aha. Uh-huh. I was having a good day. What were you saying about uh-huh, AI uh-huh. earlier, Angie? Oh, the, the, the teleport. I kind of forgot. Yeah, what yeah. is the Apple, Apple teleport? teleport? Tell me about that. Apple teleport, go. Um, I keep seeing like these like memes everywhere. I sound like a, like someone's dad when I say that. But like I keep seeing these like memes everywhere that are like Apple teleport. <laughs> I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. I'm gonna do a know. quick little know. Google of this. Well, what is it? Connor, it's like it it's is. teleport. I don't think it's real. I think it's just like AI created. Apple then, like, unveils teleportation oh, yeah. device. Yeah. <laughs> that's not real <laughs> for t- for 29 million dollars apple is no way. branding the tell the device as the i teleport yeah i don't think what? this is no but it's not that i thought it was real it's that like it's funny for no reason no this is not a... this is in the s- same one as the apple jetpack the apple robot yeah. the apple jeans the apple toilet the Apple Teleport, the Apple Orange, the oh, Apple okay. Ship. Yeah. Oh my god. Angie, I got to inform you it's AI. Y'all are just haters. Ha 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 ha. It will pick up in the video. I'm sure it will. Especially if it picks up your stupid water heater that no one cares about. Yeah, true. Yeah. It's loud. You're loud. Kanye, um, Kanye, what is going on with Kanye? Do you think Kanye likes the minions? Speaking of AI, Con- speaking of AI, Kanye, Kanye is AI. Uh, Kanye, do you think he? Do you know. think he likes minions? What have you guys? Have you guys been been seeing what he's posting on Instagram on the gram? Yeah, he's just posting eighty percent naked pictures of his wife. It's kind of funny. Oh, he looks exactly like Kim K. Yeah. Yeah. Wait, he has a new wife. He's had a yeah. wife for like a year now. And she looks exactly like Kim K. He has a type. You're Kim K. Thanks. Yeah. Fake. Uh, but apparently- <laughs> 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 wow. wow. Holy <laughs> shit. And Damn. For the record, I think you're more real than Kim K ever was. <laughs> yeah, you're real. I Kim just- K isn't. Kim K isn't a real person. I, I have to go, guys. I can't do this. God damn it, Flippy. <laughs> I can't do this podcast. We get, we, get our me- we get a fourth member for the first time ever on this podcast, and now you fucking run her off the show. God yeah, damn it. This is the first, first girl we've had for we were, two years. We were going to be the first podcast to ever have a woman on it, and now it's ruined. Oh, my God. I, I just ruined it, guys. Let God damn it. Alfredo. I'm actually the, the seventh member to be the fourth member of CB guy because Flippy just bullies every single yeah. new member out. We've actually yeah. had to delete. We have four deleted episodes because every single time Flippy just gets him kicked out. 
Yeah, Flippy, I don't know. Yeah, so I get them kicked that. out because they're libtards. Flippy hates libtard women. These bitches yeah. love Sosa. Oh my god. Fucking with them O-blocks. You go and get Roblox? Over. Yeah, fucking with them Roblox. Do you think Chief have, Keith like, loves... He loves Roblox. I used to think I the lyrics... Were, I tell you guys this every time I'm on a call with you, but... I used to think the lyrics were Raris and Robux. Um, Robux. But it's just Rovers, because why would Chief Keef... Because he loves Keef Roblox. Robux. Chief Keef is a Coffee. gamer. He loves Roblox. I always say Chief Keef, but isn't it Keef? Chief? Chief Keef? Queef. Chief Keef. I think it's Queef. Chief Queef. Yeah. Oh my god, you're going to get shot next time you go anywhere. Chief Queef. Well, maybe, maybe he should have thought of that before he named himself Chief Keef. Keef? Yeah. Is it Keef or Keith? I it's think it's Queef. K E E F. Yeah. Keef. You're a Keef. You know, if you listen to the songs I don't like, Love Sosa, and um, I Hate Being Soba, they all <laughs> sound exactly the same. They're all hard. They all rhyme. They all, all, they all rhyme. They're all on the same album. Got just listen to them back to back. You'll think you're listening to an extended version of the same song. I'm telling you, it's just it's a great experience. Yeah. Um, that's it's the majority of my my workout playlist. Um, there's <laughs> it's those songs in a row. It's great, you know. For Christmas, yeah. I got my dad a like a dad jokes book with 350 dad jokes. Every day since then, he has sent one in our, me and my sister, like in our group chat. Wait, hold on, do I have it? Hold on, hold on, I need to go find something. Hold so, on. while oh, Connor's going hard. to find something, let's just talk about how horrible he is and how he's useless to this stupid podcast. We he are the CB farts. Cry. We are the CB farts, and I think we should stand up against him and overthrow. We need to I rebel against it. our tyrant leader. He is a, this oh, is a hegemony. You're never going to believe this. You're hegemony. never going to believe this. This is a hegemony. Find? I found grab jokes for gamers since this is a gaming podcast. This You're is not a, a gaming podcast. I don't think What's what? Do you, you want me to read an expert? An excerpt? Sure. Yeah. An excerpt, not what, an expert. What did Mario use to talk part? to the booze? Yo mama. What? A Tell Luigi me. board. Sorry. I thought you said booze. Yeah, like booze. Like B-O-O-Z-E. No. <laughs> Mario doesn't drink. It's against his religion. You don't know that. He's Italian. Mario yeah. would never. I'm pretty oh, sure I'm I'm wine. Pretty sure Mario is Catholic. <laughs> he probably is. If he was anything. If he was anything, he would be Catholic. What's Mario's he favorite Broadway musical? Gods. What? Mamma, Mamma Mia. Mia. Uh, I knew it. I knew oh, it. that's good. That's a good that's one. That's a good one. What does Mario use at the shopping cart? Fuck. <laughs> what does Mario use at, at the, the supermarket? What does Mario use at, at the supermarket? Why is Mario a shopping cart? Mario cart. cart. He, does, he does use a Mario cart. <laughs> Carson definitely has his book like opened up on his desk. <laughs> Carson, oh, what page yeah. are you on right now? I just know Nintendo. What's what's Luigi's that's why, favorite that's why shoes? Nintendo Coke there. Holy shit! What's Luigi's oh favorite God. shoes? Luigi Vuittons. Open toed sandals. What? What? <laughs> what is that oh, mean? Toad. Oh. Yeah. What what is Toad's favorite room in his house? Um, the mushroom. The toadstool. A mushroom. Yeah. This is so dumb. I okay, this is the end of the CB Nerds podcast, episode 47. Thanks for watching. Wait, but we didn't talk about the unemployment rate or economical state of the world. Shh. See you next time, gamers. Next time.